Good evening. Welcome to the 7 p.m. update. This is the 10th update of this storm. About the sixth cup of coffee, 20 ounces each, of course. So I'm just rocking and rolling full of caffeine and adrenaline as our storm is unfolding as expected. We'll see whether we reach the verification totals. It uh, looks like the coast, where it was about one inch, is going to work out. Uh, we'll see around the I-95 corridor, Freehold, Philadelphia. We'll see how that works out. But one thing is for sure, the forecast for thundersnow has certainly worked out in northeastern Pennsylvania, northeastern New Jersey, should I say, where we are getting several reports of lightning and thunder and very intense snowfall. So let's take a look at the observations. And in the past hour, the temperatures have crashed free between 6 and now 7 p.m. or close to 7 p.m. We have seen temperatures falling rapidly. Let's go back an hour down towards uh, southern New Jersey. We we're down in uh, Atlantic City, just going over the snow. Wildwood is raining at 36. Now the current conditions snowing throughout the entire Jersey Shore is going to be changing over, over uh, in eastern Long Island. This is basically your rain snow line right here uh, with the temperatures rapidly falling behind this trough here. Kind of almost like a density trough with the dense arctic air driving towards the coast trying to push that warm air warm air out and so this is essentially your changeover line right here and so look for eastern long island to change over to snow shortly same thing for eastern uh connecticut and then progressing uh towards the east or towards uh southeastern new england for us moderate to heavy snowfall is going to be continuing Take a look at the radar here. Just very impressive heavy snowfall, intense snowfall rates. We already have an inch and a half in uh, Freehold here and piling up quickly. So the chance for verification here is not out of the realm possibility with your snowfall rates just shooting through the roof. And also it's getting colder. It's 30 degrees now. Temperatures are falling rapidly. You're seeing 20s. And now uh, I put in some of the lightning observations you can see over northeastern new jersey look at the lightning showing up here so this is really going to enhance your totals and your snowfall rates in and around the new york city metro uh so again pretty much what was expected has worked out i told you guys just have a little patience whether or not we reach that verification total where i was going quite frankly four to eight inches uh in the i-95 corridor We'll see if that works out. It looks like on the low end, but we'll see. You know, there's a lot of locations that are verifying, some that are not. We'll see around Monmouth County. We'll see around Philadelphia, but it is certainly piling up pretty fast. Uh, in zone five, where I had one inch as the minimum, that looks like it's definitely going to be working out very nicely. So taking a look at the lifting, this is a 700 millibars. There's our phonogenesis at this layer of the atmosphere helping to drive some of that convective snowfall. Again, the nature of the atmosphere is such that you have a lot of instability. And then you throw in this lifting that allows to break any cap that's in the atmosphere, leading to this convective snowfall at 850 millibars. Very strong lifting, again, showing up right along the coast. And same thing at 9 to 25 millibars, just on the coast here. So all this is evolving exactly as expected. So... We can take a look at the forecast here on the uh, HRR. About 8 p.m. it'll be tapering off in Philadelphia. We got to go all the way to about well, close to 10 p.m. for it to taper off in New York City. So Philadelphia, you got about another hour of steady, moderate, heavy snowfall. Central New Jersey and Northwest New Jersey, about another two hours. New York City Metro, about another three hours. And then for Long Island, you're talking about ending around between 11, uh, around 11 p.m. to midnight. So again, several hours more of steady, moderate to heavy snowfall is going to allow for us to catch up in this forecast. So again, just to go over what that forecast is, just so we're clear, one inch to four inches. We'll see how that snowfall ratio works and see how much snow is able to pile up over the next couple of hours with this intense snowfall occurring. Four to eight inches in this area. Again, most likely towards that four inch total. Once we had a little bit lingering of the sleet, the potential for going over six inches died. 
Now the question is whether or not we're going to touch that four inches. So I mean, just to be honest, it's snowing pretty heavily. We'll see whether or not we reach those totals uh, and what that whether or not we're going to see that transition of not only the intense snowfall, but also the snow ratios rising as our temperatures continue to fall. Uh, in zone three, working out very nicely, six to 10 inches, more like this towards the six inches. I'm seeing a couple of locations, uh, some lollipops of eight, nine inches of snow. So again, still working out pretty nicely. We'll see how that plays out. And then as you go further west, the storm is tapering off, looking at three to six inches. Looks like that three inch definitely verified in many of these locations. We'll see about uh, south central Pennsylvania and then one to three inches well out to the west. So again, storm is evolving. We'll see how it plays out. We got very intense, heavy snowfall. I do expect more thunder snow as we continue to see this evolve and I continue to see the temperatures fall. So we'll be back again in the next hour for update number 11 of this storm that has impacted the entire region. Have a wonderful night and as always, stay safe out there.